Shalom, everyone. We'll begin our service in just one minute. sound check. Shalom, Karina, Gabriel, Danielle. How do things look from Venezuela, Karina? Do you have good uh, video and sound? Shalom to Albuquerque. So we will begin. Let me know if everything is smooth as far as the technology is concerned. My name is Rabbi Nancy Tunick. I'm the rabbi at Temple B'nai Israel in Florence, Alabama. I'm a graduate of JSLI and a founding rabbi of the UJUC, which is the Union of Jewish Universalist Communities, which Seem Shalom is the charter member. And I am going to start the service using the Rabbi Nancy slides on the right-hand side on page two. We'll be using the chat function and the social stream, depending on if you're on a mobile or a laptop or desktop. We'll be doing the Mishaberach and a Mourner's Kaddish using uh, that opportunity to type names and also an opportunity for everybody to chat and communicate throughout the service. We'll be using a Reform Siddur, the Gates of Prayer. It is English primarily with some Hebrew cantorial selections. I have both the Hebrew transliteration and the English along with the chord progression, and I know that there's a harp and maybe a ukulele and a guitar uh, and a number of instruments out there, maybe even a clarinet uh, that might join us as we connect for prayer and song. And we will begin on page two. The greatness of the eternal one surpasses our understanding, and yet at times we feel his nearness, overwhelmed by awe and wonder as we behold the signs of his presence Still, we feel within us a kinship with the divine. And so we turn to you, O oh God, looking at the world about us and inward to the world within us, there to find you and from your presence gain life and strength. Together we say, Praise the Lord to whom our praise is due. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Ed. Praise be the Lord to whom our praise is due now and forever. And my congregation of two, <laughs> congregation of two, <laughs> is here in the house. So Sarah and Lewis will be helping me with some prayer and song. with us from my hometown of Philadelphia. We continue on page four. Together we say, Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Baruch Hashem Kavod Malchuto Le'olam Ba'ed. Blessed is God's glorious kingdom forever and ever. Ah! Uh -huh. 
continue on page six with the Viahata in Hebrew for traditional chant, or on page seven for a contemporary setting that includes both Hebrew and English. Viahata et Adonai Elohecha v'chol lucha v'chol nashicha v'chol miodecha you shall love the Lord with all your mind, with all your strength and all your being. Set these words upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them. Speak of them on your way when you're lying down and when you We continue on page nine responsively. Infinite God, creator and redeemer of all being, you are most high, most near. In all generations, we have cried out to you. We have put our trust in you. We have borne witness to your truth before the nations. Oh, now let your light and your truth appear to us and lead us. Let them bring us to your holy mountain. Together we say, we shall not fear then, though earth itself should shake, Though the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters thunder and rage, though the winds lift its waves to the very vault of heaven, we shall not fear, for you are with us. We shall rejoice in your deliverance. Then shall we know you, our Redeemer and our God, and in the shadow of your wings we shall sing with joy. On page 11, we sing a song of freedom and wonder. understanding among us, that peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Eternal God, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up to find our hearts waiting to do your will. Together at the bottom of page 12, we say, blessed is the eternal one, guardian of Israel, whose love gives light to all the world. 
Continue now with the tefillah on page 14. Adonai simpatai tiptach ufi yagita hilatecha eternal God open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Back to page 13 for the Avot. Baruch atad anai Eloheinu velohei avoteinu Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vahanora, El Elyon, Gomel Hasadim, Tovim, Vikone Hakol, Vizocher Haste Avot. Umei Vigula, Livne Vinehem, Lemaan Shemo, Bahava. Melech Hoser, Umashiach, Umagain, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magain Abraham. We continue now with a prayer for and about holiness. It is actually a prayer that we sing directly to God as we say, you are holy, your name is holy, and those who strive to be holy declare your glory day by day. Blessed is the Lord, the holy God. And please join us, Sarah and Lewis are joining me right now. And if you will sing also on page 16, we'll have an international choir. Tunic Whitehead Family Singers. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gabriel. I love that comment. We continue on page 17. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzvaot, Melecho Ha'aret Kavodo. Together we say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The fullness of the whole earth is his glory. May respond to your glory with blessing. Baruch Kavod Adonai Mim Komo. Blessed is the glory of God in heaven and on earth. We now take a moment for a silent prayer. And as we face daily stress and concern about the environment, about violence, about evil in our world, about how to be of service, there are rare opportunities to actually listen. And so prayers are both speaking and singing and also listening. A prayer or a meditation is an opportunity to potentially listen to that still, small voice within. So we now take a few moments for silence, a few moments of peace.
We continue joining our voices together in prayer for the Misha Beirach, and this is an opportunity to sing a prayer for those who are in need of healing. And when we join our voices together in prayer, our sages say it travels that much faster to God's ears. On page 20, we'll sing Debbie Friedman's setting of the Misha Beirach. If you will use the chat function and the social stream to type in the names of those who are in need of healing, there is a delay, and so if you will type them in now, we'll pause in the middle of the prayer, and we will speak those names out loud, and we will pray together for them. And we begin on, again on page 20. Martina, Anna, Pablo Ignacio, Dana, Andrea, and Nieves. For Clara, Ernestina, Kerry, Fusia, and George. For Lee Sharp and Leo. Russell, Amber, Marlene, Glenda, Ed, Ruth, Elma. For Robin and Peggy. David, Tamara, Nancy, Sean, Laura, Melanie, and Julie. For Ruth and Liz and Sharon. Also for Valerie, Erin, Maddie, Trey, Mayo, Malcolm, Barbara, Rose, James, Carrie, and Albert. And also for Joseph and Mary. For Valerie, Francesca, Erin, and Albert. Also for Mara and Anna, Allison, Betty, Joshua, Jane, Evie, BJ, Jan, Jody, Vivian, Marcellus, Zoe, Irene, Sunny, and Lorraine. Jerry. And if there are any other names for the Misha Beirach, please type them in now. And if you did not hear them read, please speak them out loud where you are. And we'll continue at the bottom of page 20 together. Continue on page 22 for the Alenu. Let us adore. Heavens of the earth, whose glory and praise. 
ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא יהיה אדני אחד, ושמו, ושמו, ושמו We now take a moment to remember those we've lost. This is an opportunity for you to type in the names of people who, whose your tets are being commemorated uh, this week, people who died at this time in seasons past, and also for those we've lost recently, uh, for people who we lost in the last 11 months traditionally. And so if you will type in those names now, there is a real significance to the idea of speaking their names out loud. Our tradition teaches us that those whom we loved and lost live on in our memories, but when we speak their names or light your side candles or dedicate memorials, our loved ones not only live on in our memories and our hearts, they live on in our lives. And when we speak their names, we bring them to us like a whisper in the wind that comes back as an echo for eternity. As we remember them, they inspire and support us. They will always be in our memories and our hearts, but they will also always be in our lives. So we take a moment right now to speak their names, the loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have taken into our hearts with our own. We remember Gary Marshall, inspired so many people with his films and his art. We remember Rosalie Tenenbaum, Malka Sobobat Fega, Bob Goldstone, Alan Mammon, Stanislaw Rikali, Elizabeth Schuler, Jim and Ann Sharp, Aunt V and Uncle Pancho, James Tanner and Mama T, Jerry Payne. We remember Pat Summit. If there are any other names to remember this evening, please type them now or speak them out loud where you are. The memories of all of them are with us. Our griefs and sympathies are mingled as we praise God and pray for the coming of his kingdom. Together we recite the Mourner's Kaddish, which is on page 25. Yekada v'yekada shamei rabah v'yalma divrach yirute v'yamlich machute v'chayi echon v'yom echon v'chayi dicha beit Yisrael v'agalad v'zman kariv v'imru. Amen. Yehei shamei rabah mivarach v'yolam olam me'amaya yiparach v'yishtabach v'yipa'ar v'yitroma v'yitnaseh be it Hadar, be it Ale, be it Hala, Shame de Kudsha Birhu, the Alamin called Birhata Vashirata, Tishbahata, the Nechamata, the Amiram Biama, the Imru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Minshmaya, the Chaim, Elenu, the Ako Yisrael, the Imru, Amen. O say Shalom Bim Roma, who ya a say Shalom. Alenu v'yakol Yisrael v'imru, amen. We also remember all of our soldiers who lost their lives fighting for our freedom, and we remember the police officers who were killed in Baton Rouge this week. And for all the people we miss, we say amen and amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved. As together again we say, Amen. Amen. And so we close with a line from our sages that says, we must pray as if it's all up to God. We must act as if it is all up to us. This week's Parsha talks about choosing a road, any road, and that is what makes us human, the opportunity to make choices in our lives and to make choices that elevate our souls. So I wish for you, a beautiful rest of your week. I am actually out of town for the next two Wednesdays. Rabbi Deborah is going to be here with you uh, on Wednesday evenings, and I'll be back again on August 10th. 
And if you happen to be in the vicinity of Florence, Alabama this weekend on Saturday afternoon at two o'clock at Temple B'nai Israel, we are part of Handy Fest, the Tunic Whitehead Family Singers, as uh, Gabriel said, that's actually what we're calling ourselves as we do a combination of country and cantorial music that we've titled 10 Gallon Yarmulke. All are welcome. There's music all over the city and the area. It's a wonderful festival and tribute to WC Handy. And if you want daily inspiration, check out Seam Shalom's Facebook page with some wonderful motivational and inspirational quotes, some fabulous Meatless Monday recipes on Monday and Yiddish on Tuesday. Uh, like us on Facebook, and I will look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. Lila Tov, all, and Shalom.